Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play RuneScape. This is Zero, of course. And uh, just yesterday, I used up my daily spins. As a gold member, you get three per day. And in two of them, I managed to get something that I didn't really know about because I hadn't been watching the news. I got two of these gloves. Um, I don't know what they do just yet. Oh, and I got one of these helms, too. <laughs> I made that the other day. But... Uh, so I checked out the article, and it's kind of crazy, actually. It, I guess it's like, as you're skilling, you're going to gain gold. And, I mean, you guys saw here a minute ago, I think two of these guys are actually wearing these gloves. I haven't tried them on yet, but let's, let's give it a shot here. Yep, there they are. All right. So they only last until uh, next month, May 6th. Yep, that's a month. And... So I thought maybe we could go try them out. Um, maybe I'll go and do a bit of mining and maybe some gold mining. Yeah, so I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, here we are. The Living Rock Caverns is arguably the best place to get mining experience right now. There are some things that I, I don't love about it. Um, in particular, you know, once these things collapse, you have no idea where to go. Um, that can be kind of a pain. But it's a great spot. Really cool. You get good experience. And let's see here. I guess there's a chance of getting gold. So why don't we just... Uh, I don't really want to show everything. Hopefully it displays. Or we can open this up. and it, Oh, there it was. Wow, I just got some gold. Uh, all? Holy, 30,000. Wow. Well, I was a little bit surprised when these gloves showed up. The both of them. It was <laughs> literally one after the other. Um, they were worth like 330,000 GP. Quite a bit, considering, you know, I, I don't know how rare they were. Um, but I decided to go ahead and try them out. Because chances are, if you use them up, you're going to make more money. That's usually how it works with Jagex. If you actually put in the effort, you get a better deal overall. Um, it's a little bit strange, right? I mean, I think they probably recognize that skillers aren't doing that great in terms of the amount of money that they make. Because bots are undercutting their profits hugely, right? Um, bots are going around and they're collecting and selling so much, so many items, that um, that it's not really a good profit source to go and collect things. But I think that the um, the gold mining bots were banned and, and they must have done a good job. Whatever they were doing, um, the price of gold skyrocketed and the only reason I can tell is because um, bots were actually banned, which is amazing. Um, they went up to I mean, I believe it was like 450 to 500 GP each. Let me check that quickly. Gold ore. There it is. Well, it's been dropping again. Okay, so it got up to around 430. And actually, um, you know, in years gone by, around 400 GP was pretty standard for gold. Um, I don't think it would ever stay at that price now because it's actually gotten easier to to get to gain resources right places like this have come around so it's becoming easier to gain those resources um, particularly for members but that's also true of, of non-members um, they've gotten you know a few more mining sites over the years and also um, the ability to run and stuff like that is going to lower the price um, at least that would be my guess but, yeah, so gold's not too bad right now, so <laughs> maybe a good pick if we're going to use these things up today. Alright, so I didn't hear that little cha-ching. 30k, that's a lot. Hmm... Alright, please stop hitting me. <laughs> it's such a violent place. But yeah, once this thing collapses, um, the only tricky part is that I can never guess where to go. Like, where do you go from here? Where's the next one? There, there's a gold um, deposit kind of 
to the northwest of here. And then there's one kind of straight north all the way across and a few other places. But you can run all the way over there and it might be collapsed as well. So, um, you know, you just end up running around a little bit like a chicken with its head cut off. And there's really no method to the madness, as best I, I can tell. Um, one way that people are better than bots is that we can think, you know, <laughs> we're pretty good at, at coming up with um, novel appro approaches to solving problems. Bots are less good at that, at least in the short term. Um, so it would be nice if we had some type of information that was hard to understand, but, but at least gave real players a tip that they could follow. Not sure how that would work. It's you know always going to be a challenge to stay one step ahead of those scummy bots. Hmm. So let's see here. How much of these have I used? Check charges. Uh, scroll all the way down. Ooh, 99 charges. So I get nine. I get a hundred times thirty thousand. Is that right? Hmm. 100 times 30,000, that would be uh, 30, 100,000. Is that 3 million? Yeah. Sorry, I know that's some retarded math just now. <laughs> times 100. Yeah, 3 mil. Holy. So if you use it up, you don't just get thir uh, 330K, like, you know, the amount that you would get if you uh, just decided to to not get the gloves and just change it into cash. If you do get the gloves and use them, um, and I think your level matters. My mining level is pretty high, 95, not 99 yet, but um, I think you're going to be much better off. Three mil is, is a huge amount, huge deal better than, uh, than 300K. Not bad, not bad at all. I wonder how long it takes to get through though. I have two pairs. Um, we've used up one charge so far. Uh, obviously, there's other places that would be easier to do scaling. You could probably just craft, um, do a bunch of fletching, and then you're already stationed at a bank. You don't have to, you know, you're not going to make as much that way from the actual skill that you're doing, but you'll go through your gloves more quickly. And I think, oh, Lee, look at that. It's just, like they say, it's raining. Raining all over the place. Let's check this again. Maintain, oh, maintaining a balance between improving skill and increasing wealth is tricky business, so you'll want to try your hand at bagging a brand new item that lets you do both, only available on the Squill of Fortune this weekend. Train almost any skill while wearing Samid's gloves, and every time you gain any amount of XP, there's a chance the gloves will produce gold out of thin air. The more, the more you level your skills, the more money you will make. Hmm. Interesting. So how much did I get this last time? Is it cumulative um, within the gloves? Oh, I got 33,000 that time. And I think it was just over 30 the first time. Let's see if we can scroll. Yeah, 30. Wow. Well, that could really add up. Um, if only one charge is used at a time, I mean, that's going to be way over 3 mil. Yeah, one charge. Holy. Well, I'm going to use these up some more, and I'll check back with you guys in a few minutes. What? What? 300k. Hang on a minute. 47 charges. I just used up 
Nine charges at once. <laughs> Holy. Wow. That's a lot of, of gold. Well, guys, welcome back. I've been uh, trying to figure out what these things do, and I think I've finally got it sorted. They give you gold. <laughs> no doubt there. Um, it seems that each charge is worth about 30,000 GP. And so if you, you know, occasionally you use up a lot of charges at once, it doesn't happen very often. Um, I've been trying to catch that, and that was crazy because I didn't get to see it before. But man, how cool is that? So um, I'm a big fan of what they've done with these gloves. I think they're a really cool idea. Um, you know, as a reward for something, right? Uh, I, I like it for that. And, and okay, so on the School of Fortune, when these things popped up, you could trade them in for gold immediately. And if you did that, then you would get 330k. Well, because each charge is worth like 30,000 GP, and there's a hundred charges on these things to begin with, they're worth about three mil, um, given my level. So I think that being a level 95 miner is going to have to play some role, but um, I think in general, these uh, these gloves are, are definitely worth um, using rather than trading in. I mean, at 30,000 GP each, after just, I don't know, 11 charges used, I had already made as much as I would have, you know, I would have already expected to make as much as I did, you know, as I would have gotten if I had just traded them for the gold. So, so it's definitely worth it to use these. Um, I've been up here for a while, uh, two and a half hours, put on a movie, chilled out for a bit, um, you know, just kind of watch the money come in and, uh, and yeah, these things are neat. They're really cool. Um, I wish they would make stuff like this a reward for doing stuff, you know? Um, the idea that it's something you can just randomly get on the Grand Ex or on the uh, Squeal of Fortune, sorry, I'm not a huge fan of, right? Um, with the Squeal of Fortune, they've kind of been easing it in. It's like a wedge, right? In the beginning, the rewards were very small, and so it was like, okay, we don't like um, the, the Squeal of Fortune. It's like gambling, right? Uh, we don't we don't like it, but is it? You know, is this what we really want in our game? I think it's uh, a tough question to answer. I think that for um, some people, the answer is definitely yes. And those same people were not very outspoken when the Squeal of Fortune came around. Now, let's hang on a minute here because I, I really want to consider this as a plausible reason for having the Squeal of Fortune. You know, I, I think that I think that the argument gets interesting, but what I don't like, what I think is wrong, is that um, they're kind of easing us into this, right? I don't like that. I don't like manipulation of, of public views. I think that if they want to have a perspective, and if that perspective is legitimate, then they should come out and reason with us, like real people. You know, independent of whether or not we're, you know, uh, 20 years old or eight years old. Right. Uh, just reason with us because we're real people, you know, and we can get it. So um, that's slightly disappointing. Um, I think as they drag up the amounts that you're actually gaining um, on the School of Fortune, people will tend to buy from that more and more rather than investing in, in scumbag gold farmers where, you know, all you're getting is a bunch of fake money instead of getting cool content um, that, you know, can make you laugh, make you interested in things or whatever. Um, so, you know, it's it's a lesser evil, I think, if, you know, if, if we're going to call it that. And I'm not sure we should really go that far, but... Uh, I don't know. I wish, you know, like I said, I wish they'd come out and just and just talk to us like real people. So that's all I've got for today. Um, these gloves are kind of interesting. Uh, it doesn't look like it'll take very long to use them up. So like I said, if you do get these, make sure you um, you collect them instead, you know, your daily spins or whatever. Um, if you get one of these, you may as well collect it. You're going to be better off. So yeah, guys, um, I've got a bunch of these left here. I mean, I've got another full set of gloves. I, I gotta take a break, <laughs> relax, do some other stuff. Um, so thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later.